Have you ever wondered how your smartphone understands your voice commands? Or how Google translates entire websites in seconds? Or maybe you've chatted with an AI assistant and wondered, how does it know exactly what to say? I'm Muammar Lone, and welcome to our journey into the fascinating world of natural language processing, or NLP, the technology that's revolutionizing how machines understand and interact with human language. The way we interact with technology is undergoing a profound transformation. Gone are the days of memorizing complex commands or navigating through endless menus. Today, we simply speak to our devices as naturally as we would to another person. This revolution in human-computer interaction isn't magic. It's the result of decades of research and innovation in natural language processing. Over the next 45 minutes, we'll explore how machines have learned to understand, interpret, and generate human language. We'll uncover the principles behind technologies you use every day and peek into the future of human-machine communication. But first, let me show you something remarkable. The power of modern NLP. Let's start with a simple demonstration that showcases the incredible capabilities of modern NLP. I'm going to have a conversation with an AI assistant, but I want you to pay close attention to what's happening behind the scenes. Computer, can you analyze the sentiment in major news headlines from the past week and summarize the overall global mood? Impressive, right? In just seconds, the system performed a series of complex tasks, gathered and processed thousands of headlines, analyzed the emotional tone of each one, identified patterns and trends, generated a coherent summary, presented it in natural, fluent language. But what's truly remarkable isn't just the speed, it's the understanding. The system didn't just count positive and negative words. It grasped context, recognized subtle implications, and drew meaningful conclusions. This is the essence of modern NLP, machines that don't just process language but understand it. Let's try something even more challenging. Computer, explain quantum computing to a 10-year-old. Notice how the system adapted its language, used appropriate analogies, and maintained a child-friendly tone? This ability to adjust communication style based on the audience is a testament to how far NLP has come. But the journey to this point has been fascinating and full of unexpected turns. The evolution of language processing. The story of NLP is a testament to human ingenuity and persistence filled with breakthrough moments and humbling setbacks. Let's travel back in time to understand how we got here. Picture this. It's 1954, at the height of the Cold War. Scientists at IBM are attempting something unprecedented, using a computer to translate between Russian and English. Their approach seems logical. Create a dictionary of words and simply replace each Russian word with its English equivalent. Simple, right? Well, let me share one of their most famous translation attempts. The original Russian phrase meant, The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The computer's translation? The vodka is good, but the meat is rotten. While this might make us chuckle today, it taught us a crucial lesson. Language is far more complex than simple word substitution. Context matters. Cultural understanding matters. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. The 1960s saw the emergence of rule-based systems. Imagine trying to write down every rule of English grammar. Every exception, every idiom, every special case. It's a task that seems overwhelming even to think about. Yet that's exactly what researchers attempted. They created massive databases of grammatical rules, hoping to teach computers the structure of language. These early rule-based systems could handle simple queries like, what is the capital of France? Paris. But they would struggle with slightly more complex questions like, what's the largest city in France that isn't Paris? The 1970s and 80s brought a shift towards statistical approaches. Rather than trying to encode every rule of language, Researchers began letting computers learn patterns from large collections of text. This was revolutionary. Instead of telling computers exactly how language works, we started letting them figure it out for themselves. The real breakthrough came in the late 1990s and early 2000s with the rise of machine learning. Suddenly, computers could learn not just from carefully curated examples, but from the vast ocean of text available on the Internet. They could identify patterns we humans hadn't even noticed. Today we've entered the era of deep learning and neural networks. These systems don't just process language. They develop their own internal understanding of how language works, much like a child learning to speak. The results have been nothing short of revolutionary. How in real-world applications. Now that we understand how we got here, let's explore how NLP is transforming various industries. 
I guarantee you're already using many of these applications without even realizing it. Let's start with healthcare, where NLP is quite literally saving lives. Imagine a busy emergency room. A patient arrives with chest pain. As the doctor speaks with the patient, NLP systems are transcribing the conversation in real time, analyzing symptoms against millions of similar cases, flagging potential risk factors, suggesting relevant tests and procedures, checking for drug interactions, but it goes even deeper. NLP systems are now analyzing millions of medical records to identify early warning signs of diseases, predict patient risks before symptoms appear, suggest personalized treatment plans, track population health trends, accelerate medical research. In education, NLP is revolutionizing how we learn. Imagine a personal tutor that adapts to each student's learning style, identifies knowledge gaps, provides instant feedback, never runs out of patience, is available 24-7. This isn't science fiction. It's happening right now in classrooms worldwide. NLP-powered systems are helping students learn everything from basic math to complex physics, adjusting their teaching style in real time based on student responses. The legal field has seen equally dramatic transformations. Legal professionals used to spend countless hours reviewing documents for relevant information. Now, NLP systems can analyze thousands of documents in minutes, identify relevant cases and precedents, extract key clauses and terms, flag potential compliance issues, generate draft documents. In the financial sector, NLP is processing vast amounts of information to analyze market sentiment, detect fraudulent transactions, automate regulatory compliance, generate financial reports, provide personalized financial advice, customer service has been completely transformed. Modern chatbots can handle complex customer queries, understand context and intent, detect customer emotions, provide personalized responses, learn from each interaction, even creative industries are embracing NLP. We're seeing systems that can generate news articles, write creative stories, compose poetry, create marketing copy, assist with script writing, but perhaps the most profound impact is in breaking down language barriers. Real-time translation systems are making it possible for people who speak different languages to have natural conversations, conduct business globally, share ideas across cultures, learn from each other, build understanding, Sam, Sam, core components and how they work. Let's break down the fundamental components that make all this possible. Think of it like learning a new language. You need to understand the building blocks before you can have a conversation. First, there's text processing. When you read the sentence, I saw a man with a telescope, your brain automatically processes multiple possible meanings. Did you use a telescope to see the man? Or did the man have a telescope? Teaching computers to handle this kind of ambiguity is one of NLP's most fascinating challenges. It requires understanding. Context. What's the broader conversation about? Grammar. How do the words relate to each other? Common sense. What's most likely in this situation? World knowledge. What's physically possible? The process involves several key steps. Well, one. Text. Processing. Breaking text into words and sentences. Identifying parts of speech. Recognizing named entities, people, places, organizations. Handling punctuation and formatting. 2. Syntactic analysis. Understanding sentence structure. Identifying relationships between words. Resolving grammatical ambiguities. Handling complex constructions. 3. Semantic analysis. Understanding word meanings. Resolving ambiguity. Identifying relationships between concepts. Understanding implications. 4. Pragmatic analysis. Understanding context. Recognizing intent. Interpreting figurative language. Understanding cultural references. Modern NLP systems use sophisticated neural networks that can learn from billions of examples, recognize complex patterns, understand context, generate natural responses, improve over time. The future of NLP. 
As we look to the future, the possibilities are truly mind-boggling. Let me share some developments that are just around the corner. Universal translation, real-time translation earbuds, automatic document translation, cross-cultural communication aids, preservation of endangered languages, educational language tools, personalized education, AI teachers for every subject, adaptive learning systems, real-time feedback, personalized curriculum, interactive learning experiences, legal and business, automated contract analysis, instant legal research, regulatory compliance checking, business intelligence, risk assessment, healthcare, real-time medical transcription, diagnostic assistance, treatment planning, patient monitoring, research acceleration, creative assistance, writing enhancement, content creation, idea generation, story development, creative collaboration. But with these amazing possibilities come important responsibilities. We must consider privacy and data protection, bias in language models, ethical use of AI, maintaining human connection, ensuring accessibility, protecting cultural diversity, our SAS course preview. Over the next several episodes, we'll dive deep into each aspect of NLP. Our journey will include linguistic foundations, understanding language structure, analyzing meaning and context, exploring different languages, examining cultural factors, technical implementation, machine learning basics, neural network architectures, training methodologies, performance optimization, practical applications, real-world case studies, implementation strategies, best practices, common challenges, ethical considerations, privacy concerns, bias mitigation, responsible development, future implications. Each episode will build upon the last, giving you a comprehensive understanding of this revolutionary technology. House closing. As we wrap up this introduction to natural language processing, let's review what we've covered. We've explored the evolution from simple translation to complex understanding, current applications across various industries, core components that make NLP possible, future possibilities and challenges, ethical considerations. In our next episode, we'll dive into the fascinating world of linguistic concepts, the building blocks that make all of this possible. Until then, I encourage you to notice all the ways NLP technology is working in your daily life. You might be surprised by what you discover. Try these simple exercises. Count how many times you interact with AI assistants. Notice automated translations in your daily browsing. Pay attention to predictive text suggestions. Observe how search engines understand your queries. Think about how chatbots interpret your questions. Remember, we're living through a revolutionary period in human-computer interaction. The ability to communicate naturally with machines isn't just changing technology. It's changing society itself. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of natural language processing. I'm Muammar Lone, and I'll see you in the next episode, where we'll explore the fascinating world of linguistic concepts that make all of this possible. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Until next time!